Hi guys. So as you can see, I got the art snacks and I did the watercolor one. So got the green package. Got um, watermelon. Watermelon and then got the sticker. Got the pretzel sticker. Amount of stuff I think in the premium package, but it was a Valentine's Day special and you could pick from whether you were watercolor or mixed media or there was a couple different things to pick from. And I did watercolor. So, oh. So, ooh, another one that's cute. I think that's fruit on there. Oh, oh, I've always wanted to try one of these watercolor sticks. These are the watercolor sticks um, by Daniel Smith. Let's see what color we got. Yellow ochre. Oh, that's a good um, universal color that's used for a lot of different things. So this, I believe, is... It's like just like watercolor, but it is in a stick form, so you can travel with it or use it to draw like for mixed media and stuff like that um but i have never tried it yet then we've got a unipen these are nice water and fade proof it is oh a brush nib i'm not sure if you guys can see that um it is a nice skinny brush nib and then we have a paintbrush, a Princeton Lauren 4350, a nice little round, uh, let's see, number two round, um, nice little point. And then we've got two polychromos. Hopefully I don't already have these colors. I think I have the 24 set, so I may or may not. These are the let's see per no middle middle purple pink and cold gray so two two thirty four and then one twenty I think three so that'll be nice polychromos are good um ones they are not as soft they they hold their point longer though um i have that set and i've used them um but not as much as i'd like to i'd like to do more stuff with them they're great for outlining pieces and like for mixed media and stuff as well so the daniel smith extra fine watercolor stick was 1501 the paintbrush was 635 the Unipen was three eighty five, and then the two Faber Castell Polychromos were three thirty five each, and I believe I have to double check. I forget how much I paid. I know I didn't pay all that much though, so I think it was a pretty good deal. Um, what's the pencil's favorite movie? Is it gonna tell us? drawn with the wind we're gonna have to test some of these out okay guys let's see let's test these art snack supplies from the art snacks <clears throat> valentine's day watercolor special so this i haven't tried out the academy hot press um or the bao hong um Academy hot press. I've tried the cold press, which is pretty good. Um, it is not bad. Good price for 100% um, cotton watercolor paper. So we will try the hot press since uh, since we've got watercolor in that stick. So we'll comes with the first page. And I just use like a palette knife to take it off easily. 
or somewhat easily. There we go. Okay, so we've got the, you can do it like this, polychromos. This is the cold gray number Very smooth. Just do kind of like a kind of spread it out to the lightest. You can kind of see the color range of the gray. But just kind of neutral gray, really. So that is the gray one. Then we've got. Um, this is the middle purple pink, uh, 125. The gold makes it hard to see. So 125 middle purple pink. pretty smooth on this paper. It's been a while since I've used polychromos, but I do like polychromos, like luminance. Um, they all have uh, their good qualities, I think, when working on, you know, whether better for outlines or blending or skid tones. Um, they are, they all have their unique qualities, depending on what you're wanting to do. So there's those two colors. Then we have the Uniball Extra Fine brush. That is sure extra fine, because I have never seen one finer. Um, it's extremely fine. You can make a super super good point there wow look at that dry brushing with it on there I'm not I always wanted to, to try to get better with the brush tips um and this, the thinner they are, the harder they are to control, it seems. But as far as like outlining, for whatever reason, I'm shaky right now. But you can get at really, really thin lines, it seems, um, to thicker ones. I'll have to practice with this and um, try to get to a point where you can I can underline it better. I would like to see though they because this is this waterproof and it says water and water and fade proof pigment ink. So we will see if that is true. Let's do a little leaf. And then once that's dry we will make some thicker line on there. We'll see if it I think it probably takes a little bit to dry though to where it won't run. So, and then we have the one I'm really most excited about, the 
watercolor stick because I have um, not used this before. So yellow ochre, extra fine watercolor stick. Uh, this is, um, let's see. So it's PY43 is the pigment for this. Gum Arabic Solution. And so like you can, you know, use it as a stick like this to draw on. And then you can color it in. And then I imagine I put this here because I figured you could probably, ooh, that made a funny noise, scribble on this or paper and turn that into, um, and then we'll use our brush, which is the Princeton number two round, Lauren, which I don't think I have any. So I think, ah, see, it does work this way. I was thinking that it just might. How much, you know, gives, I bet you, you could probably go right off of the stick as well. Yeah, see, it's getting more pigmented now. Very cool. And so we can Oh, if I can hold on to the paintbrush. It's a nice color. kind of fade it out a little bit. It's a decent brush too. I think it's just a nice, um, nice basic round brush. Let's see how dark with when you scribble straight on the paper. And how well the lines come off. Ooh, it, like, so where I scribbled on there, it's taken them a little bit to come off. But I believe it's lifting. We'll have to see what it looks like when it um, dries, if you can see that or not. still see some on the bottom there. I don't know if that's the paper or if it's supposed to do that. Let's see if this, it was a lighter um, scratch on there where I scribbled heavier on the right hand box to see if it, um, still see the lines. So I think like, um, I'm sure different paper would do, would hold on to it differently. Where this is hot press, I would have thought with it being smoother, it would have come off. But maybe when it dries, you can't see it so much. Very cool though. Um, to use it just, you know, like watercolor. Okay, so now what are we going to create with, with, uh, I don't know. There are those, um, vases, like, um, a vase, like a, what is it? Uh, terracotta vase. Like, they make, um, like that the plants, you can grow plants in, or even like pottery, you could have one, like, um, with a design on it, maybe this is, oops, I thought this wasn't my regular pencil. 
That one has pink lid in it, obviously. But we'll try to see if, um, yeah, hence the tape band around it. it means it's got different color lid in it. Otherwise, we can try to see one of these jars, maybe. I think sometimes they do like the flare in and then like, I don't know, sometimes they bolt out. And then, I don't know, we could have like a design in there and like maybe with the, try the colors are kind of hard with the gray in the pink and the um, hmm. things a little uh, top heavy I think <laughs> But you could just, uh, we could just put the watercolor down for the jar and then we can shade with the gray and outline with the black and then do a design with the pink. We could try it. I don't know. I do like, um, this way. I think the best rather than writing on anything, then you don't see it unless of course, I guess you're really wanting to see it. So we'll try this out. I have some Daniel Smith, um, actually I have a decent amount of Daniel Smith now. I've tried some of the sets that are um, from various artists and like Moon Glow is one of my favorites. Um, don't have a large amount, but I have some sets now. So this will be um, a nice addition to the collection. This paper, I'm not used to um, painting on hot press either, but it is nice, being very nice and smooth. Here. So let's see. I imagine we could do a little bit of if we imagine that the shadow comes from the right, we could do it a little. I would think that then it would come from the right. It would go under the bowl a little bit, I believe. I suppose we can um, back that up with the gray polychromos. I don't know. We're playing. And then under this one, maybe. If you, the less water you have on your brush, I think the more, um, the thicker when you um, do it straight onto the crayon it is which I guess makes sense the heavier it is um, keep getting little hairs and I don't know where they're coming from So, and then we can outline with the, um, 
Well, I guess we can blend that line a little bit more too. Somewhere I keep getting little hairs of some making a line there because I'm all over the place. Okay, so now let's see if this has given us enough time to dry for the uniball pen. And what do you think? You think it's going to? Oh wow! Plenty enough time. I was not sure that with it being that thick that we left it enough time that is good and waterproof i would have to say yeah a little bit on the heart where it colored it in thick but man it's not bad because that has not been a lot of time so that is very very waterproof and line up here Super fun. Okay, so we gotta use everything. I guess we'll have to line. Our jar. Our, our pottery. And here. Oops. Gonna have to practice. Oh, maybe we should do the top. We're gonna have to practice this with this one. Okay, so maybe we can use the gray to shade a little bit, although I don't know how that'll look with um well thinking also we could do like a design across it I don't know how to these are odd colors to kind of throw together but we could do some kind of you know like like that a little bit sharpener at the so like a little I don't know they have those little like Designs is what I was kind of thinking. Although I kind of wiggled it a little bit. Then we could do another one here. Oh, it didn't go as far, I don't think. <laughs> That one's a little bit closer and then you can see the one coming off of that side maybe that side 
a little design there. It's an ancient jar that maybe has a gray on the in-between. That takes away from it, but now we can't stop. Now we've already done it. These colors are certainly interesting together. I don't know that we could shade with this gray because it's very. Very, very odd to use this color. Could try a little bit. I suppose it's interesting though, with it being like the I think it's a cool, cool gray with the warm of the yellow. It is kind of interesting. So there's our little design using all of the pieces of our art snack Valentine's watercolor box. So, if you were thinking about getting one, um, I think it's very cute. I think it's definitely worth the money. And um, the watercolor sticks, that, I think those are very interesting to use. Although I think, although with it dry, where it's thick, you can't really see it. You, it does good texture though. So I think there's some great uses that you could do um, using the stick for texture. And then uh, like on the go, you can also put it in the porcelain. And um, so if you've followed along till this point, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, thank you. And hopefully you'll tune in again next time. Thank you.